Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So I wanted to talk about uh, some of the new information that we learned about The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, uh, Season 2's finale, as well as uh, Season 3 news and stuff like that. So before going any further, obviously make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my Walking Dead content like this. The Boys is premiering in two days from now, and then House of the Dragon in five days, so I'll be getting a lot of videos out on that, so definitely stay tuned for that. I'm so excited for House of the Dragon Season 2, and also The Boys Season 4, because we got news today that Season 4 five is going to be its last season which is i would say a good thing just because i think that homelander's arc overall at least the part that i want him to get to really is only going to happen in like the last season and if they were to go for like eight nine ten seasons we wouldn't get that for a very long time now right so i do want to see that story so uh yeah i'm excited to see where season four goes jeffrey Dean morgan's going to be in this season here so obviously i have a lot more excitement for this season than, than like previous seasons but yeah expect some videos on the boys as well as house of the dragon whatnot uh, later on this week and really for the next however many weeks right while those shows are actually airing i'll be doing a video on like one of those shows pretty much every single day but i still will keep up walking dead content as well because there's going to be a lot of stuff that that does come out about this next season here of uh, the walking dead daryl dixon and i say a lot of stuff because comic-con is in like a little over a month or whatever uh from now and they usually promote it beforehand like two weeks before that so you know for the rest of june there might not be a lot of stuff but that's the thing sometimes there is like there, there could be a teaser trailer uh uh, like character portraits new interviews and stuff like that usually that stuff will kind of drop like just kind of randomly here and there and then yeah all the hype for the trailer at comic-con is always really exciting and then after that it's just going to be the build until the show premieres which obviously once we get that trailer the promotion for the show is going to be a lot so i think we've been through you know the, the the quietness of the walking dead like the last two and a half months since the ones who have ended has been so so quiet so i'm excited i'm excited for all the summer shows i'm excited for you know just what's coming out here there's Deadpool versus Wolverine or Deadpool and Wolverine sorry that's going to be coming out next month just a lot of stuff I'm so excited but let's talk about what Norman Reedus had to say here regarding the the finale here and he really did hype this up quite a bit he said that it was like the best one hour Walking Dead thing that they've ever done like the quote is we're about to start season three but I will say the finale of season two is the best one hour Walking Dead anything ever that right there is very it's obviously very exciting because I think I, I first of all I do think there's a connection with the Varian Walkers, but I think the fact that they're filming in Spain hints that there's going to be some sort of, I feel like, a loss for, like, the good guys. Because if you think about the season one finale, right, the, the finale ended on a good note, in a sense. Our characters won, right? Like, Daryl got away from Madame Genet. They brought Laurent to the nest, and then Daryl obviously had some feelings about, you know, going or staying and whatnot, and eventually decided to stay. But if you kind of look at how that ended there, it ended pretty peacefully that I don't see... The next season of this, you know, ending in the same exact way. I, I see it ending in a cliffhanger of sorts to hype up a season three. I mean, season one ended on a cliffhanger as well, but that was the excitement of Carol returning. You were able to do that. Season two, I mean, they could end it in a way where another character is returning. That's always possible. But I just think because they're filming uh, in Spain, and I will say, in terms of filming in Spain, it doesn't really change the the story too too much. It doesn't mean anything like Madame Genet is gone or in the very first episode of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, uh, Daryl was actually near Spain. When he was floating, or actually I think when he was on the ship, when he jumped off that ship, it was like right below Spain or something like that. It was around there. And then he floated, I guess, to France. He went upwards and uh, yeah, he just woke up on the shore of, I don't remember exactly where it was, but he was around there. And uh, so to me, it's like, it doesn't really necessarily mean anything that crazy because they're just sort of traveling to Spain. And France and Spain are very close together. So it's like, it's not that crazy, but I guess a change of scenery obviously just sort of makes... Like, it brings this new, fresh feeling to every season. So, I think that in terms of the story, what this means, though, is that they are probably leaving the nest, right? That the nest won't be a part of that story for season three. And my guess is that Madame Genet probably won some sort of battle. That maybe the nest became overrun with the variant walkers right because there's supposed to be some conflict at the nest there's supposed to be a lot of people not wanting daryl to be there i think you know and it's probably to do with madame Janae because she wants daryl and whatnot and you know they're probably like no we need to get him away from here you know it's just going to cause a bunch of problems like a lot of that i know norman Reedus has said that there's people at the nest that aren't necessarily all good so there's probably going to be some problems that they deal with there right 
and you know just what happens after that and you know what's the fate of the nest and i feel like we're probably going to lose a place like that because they're going to change locations and film in spain right so it, it kind of makes sense and i think losing it to variant walkers or even if it's like you know with madame Janet, i mean it's going to be variant walkers they're going to be there in the finale and combining it with what daryl said here about the season two finale being like the best one hour walk he did anything ever right I think that makes sense if you're in a place like the nest and then you have variant walkers just like swarming that whole entire place. That's going to be insane to see, right? It's going to be crazy. And if Carol's there and Daryl and Carol are just like, wait, what do we do? And just like running away from them and all that, like it's going to be crazy to see if there's a death there too, right? Like we haven't really had a big death in uh, the walking at Daryl Dixon yet. So who knows like who could die? Maybe it's Isabel, maybe it's Laurent, or maybe it's no one. But you know, him hyping up this finale here has me really excited because there's been so much excitement about episode one, you know, and just like what they did there that I think that the buildup for the finale is going to be really great. And like, obviously there is a part to it where it's like, well, of course he's going to say stuff like this, right? Like, of course he's going to hype up the finale, but he hasn't hyped up a lot of things. And there's been moments where he has hyped things up where I was like, oh yeah, that, like, that makes sense. I see why you said that, right? Saying what he says here, you know, it's kind of a crazy claim because he's saying that it's the best, you know, one hour walking did anything ever. And so you have to look at really, it's not just like the best one hour of like you know a finales ever you have to think of like the best like one hour of a complete episode ever right and i feel like if variant walkers are a part of it it makes a lot of sense because that variant walker scene in episode five was so exciting and i mean everyone's reaction to that was just really incredible like honestly there is when you look at daryl dixon season one there was a couple of moments that i remember where i saw a lot of people just like whoa that was just crazy and that was episode one's ending and that was with all the variant walker research stuff and with madame Janet also having just watched the, the first episode of the spinoff and being like wow that was really amazing that was so great right there was that and then episode five you know the the cliffhanger there people were you know freaking out about that and then the finale was just a really you know an awesome episode i think episode six i still think is a really great episode and i just yeah you know now i'm really excited about the finale here to me i feel like it is something that is going to be a lot of fun for us to watch and I actually wanted to get into a quote here that Norman Reedus uh, said. This is actually before he said uh, the whole thing about the finale of season two. And again, I'll leave a link down below to this article here. It's by CBR.com. Uh, he says, I think it's got some time um, left in it. And first of all, I believe he's talking about just like, you know, playing Daryl and, uh, you know, do you see this character ending soon or something like that? I don't know exactly what the question is, but based off of his answer here, you can kind of you, you can kind of see, I guess, what the question would have been. But he says, I think it's got some time left in it. Rita said, I want that character to end correctly. It started correctly and I put too much work in it to, to be a drone shot waving goodbye. You know what I mean? I want him to get his justice. It still has a huge fan base. I get mobbed all the time because of that show. In France, when the posters went up, it went bananas. We're about to start season three. But I will say, the finale of season two is the best one hour walk did anything ever. I've said it in press before, I stick to it, it's mind blowing. So, I really like what, what he has to say there, because that is the, the thing about The Walking Dead, is that it's really, like, when you, like, people have said, oh, it's gonna die out, or this and that, so many times in the last however many years, and it just never really has, and it does have its ups and downs, right? Like, I think any show that's going to be going on for a while has that, especially if there's a lot of other spinoffs and, and whatever. You're going to have those moments that are really amazing where, you know, everything seems really good. And then there's going to be certain decisions made where you're like, oh, I don't know about that. Maybe you're feeling like I don't really care to watch. And then for the next little bit, it just kind of feels like that until something else happens. Right. Because you can never consistently have the show really, really great for a long time. If it is going to be that, then it's going to be a three or four season show which The Walking Dead will never, ever be that, right? It's going to continue on for, forever because that's kind of the nature of the show. It's like a survival story and you're watching characters grow old, right? And surviving in this world. That's kind of the excitement. I think that's why people really like this story a lot. And that's something I know Norman Reedus has mentioned a lot. He likes watching Daryl grow old on the show. And he kind of likes the fact that he has his whole like journey, you know, just sort of on film with that character. And he just kind of watches himself age on the show, which I do think is a really, you know, cool aspect to a lot of this here. And the Walking Dead is still so popular. Like it, it's crazy. Um, yes, some of the budget isn't the same, but I think it's because like I'm looking at House of the Dragon, you know, which 
Obviously, I don't know if anyone saw that, but the promotion, I'm sure everyone saw it, but the promotion for that show was crazy because everyone had banners on, like, you know, the Empire State Building and all these bridges and stuff, and that's crazy. You know, The Walking Dead last year, I believe, I think it was for Dead City, they did some promotion in New York City with uh, pizza and stuff like that. It was something like the pizza boxes had Dead City, there was a bunch of stuff sort of throughout New York City, I believe. Uh, Some really cool promotion there, they had walkers in Times Square and stuff, I'm pretty sure, so... You know, it's not at the same level, but I think it's because, you know, it's HBO, so there's that as well. And I don't even think it really needs to be that as well, because, I mean, obviously, like, The the Walking Dead is doing amazingly. And I think it's gotten to the point now where it has a very consistent fan base. Like, I think after season uh, five and six, around there, you know, it started to lose viewers. There may have been some questions about, like, well, what's happening? Then as the viewers started to drop over the years and all that, and you went through all of these stories and whatever, I think, you know, you kind of saw that, okay, there's a consistent fan base here where people do watch this. There's a couple of million people anyways that watch it in the U.S. like pretty consistently because the numbers really don't drop from that. And I'm talking about U.S. uh, cable viewers and like AMC Plus. And I imagine the AMC Plus numbers just worldwide might be around, you know, 5 to 8 million up to 10 million. I'm not entirely sure what the numbers actually are. I really have no idea. But judging based off of the subscription uh, numbers for AMC Plus, which I believe is like 11, 12 million or somewhere around there, I'm sure a lot of those people watch The Walking Dead, right? Like, that's a big reason why you have AMC+, Plus. So, or at least I'm assuming, right? So, uh, there's still a pretty consistent fan base there. A lot of people love watching The Walking Dead, and a lot of people, I notice, watch it on, like, Netflix and stuff. Like, I've seen a lot of people, you know, just in the last couple of years being like, yo, yeah, I just finished The Walking Dead. Like, I just, you know, I finished the last season, and I'm like, wow, that's that came out a long time ago already. But, you know, people don't get around to it right away, which I get, I totally get. There's a lot of shows that I don't watch immediately, because people watch TV differently now so you know Norman Reed is saying all this stuff here it's kind of exciting because the spinoffs the quality is just great and I could say that really confidently like if, if the quality wasn't that great and it kind of felt like world beyond then I definitely would be concerned about the walking dead overall because the quality of these spinoffs is just incredible and it's it's fun to watch it really is just it's so fun to watch and it feels like it's worth watching you know and i think that when you look at even through the walking dead's last season and like world beyond like the quality of just what you were watching it didn't it wasn't the same it really wasn't the same and these spinoffs here it just you know so far anyways they've proven to be really like very much needed for these character stories if you care about these characters and you want to see where they're going on their, on their journeys and all that and their stories watch these spinoffs and it's crazy because it's even more more important, I feel like, in the spinoffs, whereas on the show for the last however many years, it felt like these characters never really progressed in any way, right? Like, it just... I think there was moments here and there that were really cool, but, like, besides the first couple of seasons, it just... We never really got back to that same emotional depth, I feel like, but the spinoffs are doing that, and it's because you're focusing on, like, one or two of them per spinoff, right? It makes it so much easier, so... Uh, I'm excited for The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon Season 2 that's premiering in like three and a half months now, three, three and a half months, and I know it feels like it's such a long time away because we were promised that this summer, and uh, I don't know, for me, I prefer to watch it in the fall, so like, yes, we could be getting it next month or something, right, Um, but to be able to get it in the fall, to me, is just a little bit more exciting because there's just something to look forward to this Halloween, and this summer... I, I kind of prefer, like, personally to be watching The Boys or, like, House of the Dragon. Like, I'll, I'll review those shows and have a lot of fun with that, talk about the promotion for The Walking Dead and all that. And then in the fall, when it's, like, Halloween time, you sort of get into that whole, like, Halloween mindset, right? It's fun to watch The Walking Dead. It, it really is. And so that's why, for me personally, I'm totally okay with waiting that long. But I know some people aren't because I do see some of the comments of people, you know, just being very upset. Like, they lied to me or <laughs> whatever. So, yeah, I, I do get it. But... Anyways, I'm going to leave it here. Post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.